We gonna give it up for y'all today. All power to the people. Come on, y'all gotta be a little bit louder than that. Y'all gotta let the police know we're here. All power to the people. All power to the people. My name is Lala Shakur. I'm the chief of staff for the Black Riders Liberation Party. We the new generation Black Panther Party. We here today to show our support, not just for 022, but all of the families that got assassinated and killed off by that vicious ass police force. This occupational army that's in our communities, killing our people and stockpiling our brothers and sisters in the prison industrial complex. Our people need to realize that we are nothing but a commodity to this system. Our people gotta realize that if we continuously let them take our people, go to jail passively and not do nothing about it, now represent the fact that we have a Second Amendment constitutional right to bear arms. We're not going to let them kill our people no more. All power to the people. All power to the people. A lot of people may know how the police get down, but do you know where the history of the police came from? The police came originally from slavery. When our people was locked down, chained up in another motherfucker backyard, building their economy, they had these white boys from their communities roll around our hoods when we ran trying to get our freedom and brought us back to the plantation. And it's the same thing they doing today. They bringing our people back to the modern day plantation and they getting all of our blood and our, uh, our sweat and our tears and using it as oil for their oil refinery ass system. This is how they get down in our community. They have no love for our life. They have no love for our people, and they don't represent the fact of no so-called constitution. Because if we had a constitution, they wouldn't treat us like this. This is modern-day slavery, dog. And we got to recognize that all of these people that's out here dying now, all of these signs that we holding up for these people that got killed by the police, we going to let them keep dying? No. We going to let them keep dying? No. We going to let them just constantly patrol us? No. What we going to do about it then? Like I said, we got a Second Amendment constitutional right to bear arms. We have a right to defend our people. We have a right. If they kill us, we kill them. We're not going to let them constantly patrol our people because they out there right now patrolling. They over there right now patrolling. They over there right now patrolling. But yet, ain't nobody trying to represent the fact that they still looking at us like they going to kill us right here, right now where we stand. Now, right now, real quick, updated briefing. Our general, our leader of the Black Riders Liberation Party, who been putting it down for 15 years, who organized our Watch a Pig program to patrol the people to guarantee they don't harass and kill our people, is in jail right now. They're trying to stop him from doing what he do, organizing our people and standing up against this fascist state, against these evil imperialist-ass puppets. So what we going to do? We going to free the General Tucker or what? We going to let him keep taking our leaders or what? On Monday, this coming up Monday on the 24th, we got an event going on outside of uh, outside of the county jail, Twin Towers, 441 Boucher Street at 115. We try to get as many people up there as possible because this man has been putting his life on the line, saving our brothers and sisters and educating our babies off the street so he don't participate in the gang banging and self-hatred, the beings that actually funds their production. This brother has been taken out of the hands of the capitalism. This brother has been educating our brothers and sisters about our struggle, our history, and who we are. And they're trying to take him and put him in jail right now and stop the efforts of the movement. So we need everybody here, not just the people that's present. Bring your mamas, bring your daddies, bring everybody. Because if they come for him today, they're coming for all of us tomorrow. Next thing you know, we're going to be in jail. We're going to be the ones organizing a hunger strike. Real quick, hunger strike was organized by the brother James Crawford. That's our comrade. He organized and brought the information to us, which we put it in a turn of the tide. The reason why the brothers even started it is because, for one, like I said, prison industrial complex. Do you know how much money it takes to take care of a slave? Back in the slavery days, they had an actual pamphlet, a breakdown that said it only takes $20 a year to take care of a slave. $20 a year. And it takes $20 a year to take care of an inmate. Because they don't give a shit. And they're getting more and more money off of us every day. So we going to smash and we going to represent and we going to represent our Second Amendment right. We going to defend ourselves and we going to stand up by any means necessary. Take one more of ours, we take a 10 of yours tomorrow. All power to the people. All power to the people. Y'all not loud enough, y'all scared? All power to the people. All power to the people. Two black, two stone. Two black, two stone. All power to the people. All power to the people. 
real quick, we're going to lead it over one of General's favorite cadence. Y'all repeat after me. Here we go again. Here we go again. Same old shit again. Same old shit again. Marching down the avenue. Marching down the avenue. Twenty more pins and we'll be through. Twenty more pins and we'll be through. Can you stay down to the pin? Can you stay down to the pin? Can you stay down to the pin? All power to the people. 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 All power to the